Hey guys, I'm back with another video review and I'm going to be taking a look at the Amazing Spider-Man um, series so to do with the movie um, I don't know if you got a chance to play the Amazing Spider-Man game and do check that out I definitely recommend it it is an amazing game so um, yeah Amazing Spider-Man so we're not here to talk about the game, but we're here to talk about the figures. So, I'm going to actually take a look at one of the figures, uh, maybe uh, one from the comic series and maybe some from the movie series. Uh, there are also some from the concept series, but I'm actually going to take a look at uh, one of the ones from the comic series, as you can see. Got it right here. So there is some other characters in this um, comic series that I saw. Um, I saw the black Spider-Man there, the black suited one. I saw the one that looks like the Scarlet Spider-Man. I didn't see the one with the jetpack, uh, but I did see the one that looks like Spider-Man and Peter Parker. But anyway, let's take a closer look at the, the Amazing Spider-Man. Um, figures. So let's take a look. So, um, The Amazing Spider-Man. Um, I haven't seen the film yet, but I have played a game, and it is quite an amazing game. Um, definitely check that out. So, anyway, um, bringing back to the the Amazing Spider-Man figures, um, they're done by Hasbro, and uh, so yeah, these are the three and three quarter inch figures. Um, this is the comic series, not the movie series. Um, there's the concept, comic, and movie series to these uh, live-action uh, movies. So yeah, I just happened to. Um, spot these in my local uh, supermarket and there were only a few um, and a couple of others I only saw the comic series ones but I just happened to come across um, this original Spider-Man as you can see uh, for the packaging very standard very basic in these type of movie style packaging as you can see it's got a picture of the amazing Spider-Man there says comic series also says Spider-Man says missile firing obviously with these movie figures series you actually do get a projectile with just about anything from Thor to Captain America um, on the back of the packaging as you can see some more characters here there's the black um, costume Spider-Man which I saw I saw the Scarlet Spider-Man which is that one which I couldn't decide either to get that one or this one while I've got in my hand. Never saw the um, one with the jetpack. I did actually see the one that looks like kind of like Peter Parker, as you can see there. And this is the one we got. So this is the back of the packaging of the Amazing Spider Man figures. Um, it's not bad, not bad packaging. There's no number there, just as a which number there is another photo of Spidey there so let's actually get this figure opened up and out of the packaging and we'll get a closer look at it um, obviously we're going to open it up so can I do this so I haven't done a review in a long time to do with um, Marvel figures so it's been a while last time I did one of these was on the uh, Thor and Captain America and the Avengers um, figures Doing here, just get that out. So 
put that to the side. So here's what Spadia looks like in the packaging. Well, blister, I guess. In um, there's no tags to uh, cut out and uh, stuff. There's a projectile. There. I'll keep that so uh, it doesn't go anywhere. Put that down there, and let's get Spidey out of the packaging. Now this is kind of more or less. Um, a classic um, costume Spider-Man. This is kind of like a classic costume. Um, actually, the articulation is not bad on this one. It's quite uh, quite decent. That um, get to see the spider on the back there. Really nice. I um, really love the black spider on the logo there. The costume. Pretty cool. Um, not great. Not a great lot of detail. I uh, actually do get to see that, but uh, you know there is some kind of black wash between there. You can see the detail in the suit. So now here's the um, type of missile launching thing. Kind of looks like a looks like one of those spider slayers uh, from the Amazing Spider-Man. But uh, really, it's okay. It's not bad. It does actually fire. Just put my hand there so it doesn't uh, go anywhere. It will go quite a good range. As you can see. And it does fit on his arm. Um, let's see now. Yeah, it kind of looks a little bit too much, um, a little bit cheesy, I guess. Um, put that over there. So, for articulation, Spider-Man can actually have 360 in that arm. Also, it does go up and then out. It's kind of stiff. Also, it has... Uh, Articulation in the arm, as you can see there, lower fore forearm, articulation in the elbow, no articulation in the waist, head articulation, but a good motion can look up and down. The same articulation um, in that part in the elbow. That same there in the arm, also backwards and forwards. It doesn't go in and out, so it doesn't have the Marvel Universe um, hip joints. It does have a one knee joint there, as you can see, backwards and forwards. And no ankle articulation, and it's just the same for that. So it is poseable, but not a great deal of articulation. So yeah, a very really cool figure. Um, if you do see these comic series, uh, I definitely check it out. You know, it's definitely um, worth picking up if you're a fan of Spider-Man, um, which most of you are. So, you know, I am. <laughs> so yeah, got a nice uh, detail in the face, which is nice. Um, let's see, let's get that on there, so I'm probably going to stand, uh, put that down there because it's going to be a little bit, in fact this, yeah, I thought that might happen. That's what they think with projectiles, and they do fire. And they are quite easy to lose, to be honest. So, it's a bit, it's a bit weighted on top of it. Oh, there you go, that'll be alright.
Okay, I'll look at it. 360. Close up. See there. They're not that bad. Um, you got standard basic articulation. Um, I'll probably give it a. If I had to rate it, I'll probably give it a. 5 out of 5, which um, I'll give it a 10. Um, just because uh, it looks good. Um, and uh, the, the accessory, I feel that um, it is it's a little bit silly. Um, obviously, it's another movie year. And uh, yeah, it's a great figure very basic articulation and I like the costume the costume is nice and um, hopefully we'll be able to take a look at um, the amazing Spider-Man you know, the movie uh, figure in these 3 and 3 quarter inch figures uh, definitely check out this one um, it's okay it's an okay figure but anyway um, final thoughts just a brilliant figure overall. Um, very basic standard articulation. Um, not too much details, but not a great lot. And uh, needs a little bit more posability in the ankles and in the wrists as well, and in the waist and in the um, legs area, you know, in the thighs. Thigh cut articulation but well, that's it um, that's all I've got to say um, definitely worth picking up if you're a fan of the Amazing Spider-Man um, figures ok I'll see you very soon for another video review take care hope you've enjoyed this video review and I'll see you very soon take care thanks for watching so there you go guys, um, the amazing Spider-Man figures, so yeah, um, like I said in the video review, um, they are very basic and uh, they're quite alright, but I just think that um, with a m movie year, the, you know, with every figure, it's kind of like a, um, well, they actually do put these projectile um, missile launchers in with every figure. Um, so I just wanted to get out there that you know if you're going to clip, oh. anyway, um, yeah. Maybe I should just display without this <laughs> silly uh, thing. So yeah, for me since Spider-Man figures, they're, they're quite cool. Um, definitely, this is a favorite between the Scarlet Spider and the um, this one. So yeah, until next time, everyone. Take care. See you very soon.